Hi there, my name is Adam and I will be introducing ACDC Photo Studio 2026. This tutorial examines three major digital asset management improvements to manage mode in ACDC. These features are available in all three versions of the product, Home, Professional, and Ultimate. Let's cover tab options, the home page, and multi-threading in the Activity Manager. We've expanded upon our Manage Mode tab options. This means that you can select how and what your ACDC opens upon startup. If I navigate to Tools and Options from the top menu bar and click on Manage Mode on the left-hand side of the pop-up screen, you can see that I have more startup behaviors than before. If I click on Startup, you can see that I now have four options. Open ACDC Homepage, Open Start Folder, Reopen Last Active Tab, and Reopen All Previous Tabs. The homepage is new and we'll be describing it shortly. The Open Start Folder works exactly like in previous versions, with my Start Folder being defined as the Pictures folder by default. This, however, can be changed with the browse icon that's right here. Reopen last active tab means that ACDC will open the last tab that you had active prior to closing the application. And finally, reopen all previous tabs, which opens everything that you had open prior to closing the application. Here's an example of this last one. As you can see, I have several active tabs. I'm going to close the application and restart it. On restart, you can see that my previously opened tabs are still listed at the top. The new home page. The home page is this little icon to the left of the tabs. The home page provides a bunch of useful quick actions, including quick search. Recently modified with the time period adjustable using this top right options button, Recently added images, with the time period once again also adjustable with the options button. Tagged pictures, this opens all images with tagged metadata status. Embed pending, which shows you any images that you have with pending metadata. Unnamed faces, which brings up a list of any images with face data but without names. New image, and this simply allows you to start a new ACDC image in edit mode. Import, which will prompt you to import from an external device, scanner, disk, or CD. Database, which allows you to back up your databases, optimize them, or actually perform maintenance on them. Find duplicates, which allows you to search certain folders for duplicate images and then remove them. And finally, Catalog Files, which enables you to pull metadata from your images and then add it to your database. Further, this tool actually allows you to draw from IPTC, EXIF, Lightroom, and Picasa data. One of the most impressive additions to ACDC in 2026 is massive upgrades to the Activity Manager. Now in ACDC 2026, you can queue multiple activities with the Activity Manager while still performing other workflow tasks. To illustrate this, let's import two different external disks filled with images simultaneously to ACDC. To do this, I'll use the Home Page Import option and click the Options to ensure that my import is from disk. I'll navigate to a folder that I want to import and click OK. From here, I can choose the destination I want to import these images to. I'll select a Pictures subfolder. I'll begin importing, but I'm not done. I will import another folder in exactly the same way. I'll go through the same steps, import from a disk, and then place these images into the corresponding new location in my pictures folder. If you look at my queued activities list, you can see that both operations run in tandem. This means that I no longer need to wait for one operation to complete before the other begins. 
This is called multi-threading and it will vastly increase your workflow capabilities. Some other behaviors in ACDC that work the same way and are added to a multi-threaded activity queue are exporting and importing, converting file formats, resizing, advanced searches, and applying development presets. Now that these tasks are about done, let's apply a development preset to them. I'll navigate to the new files, select my images, and right-click, process, and apply preset. That action will begin in the background. And meanwhile, I can navigate to another mode and carry on with my workflow.